Okay, so you're calling me from the Social Security Administration at this particular time? Yes. Now, what did my son do this time to me, please? Okay. okay, I'm listening very carefully at this particular moment in time. Your social security number has been uh, used to commit a fraud. Oh I my God. Oh my God almighty. So someone used in my social security for what particular reason? Exactly, please. Tell me, tell me, sir. Oh my God. They have opened 25 bank accounts and 16 credit cards have been issued under your name. And those are 25 bank accounts has been used for Let me ask you a question. Did they put a lot of money in there or they didn't? It was a million dollars in open. Oh my God. It was a million. So somebody put it a million dollars in a bank account with my name? Yes. So I don't see why that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. So what do I do at this particular moment in time in my life when this happens to me when I'm minding my own business? What am I supposed to do? Not at this particular moment in time, I don't. I have two bank accounts, a checking and a savings account. That's it. In we are which, which, which bank you're banking with, sir? TD Bank and Citibank as well. The TD Bank I, I have in my account at this particular time, that's my checking. And, or is it the other way? Or my savings is in Citibank. Uh, your savings is with the Citibank, CITI? Yeah, see, yeah, you know the bank. It's like City Field, like by the, where the Mets play. That same bank. Okay. All right, sir. So like, uh, you have one second account with the TD Bank and one savings account with the CD Bank, right? That's what I told you. How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah. So we have to differentiate the bank account that you say you're not the owner of, apart from 25 banks. So what do I have to do? As we can attack your routing number, your account number, or uh, whatever uh, over this phone call, can you just verify me, like, uh, how much will be there in your checking and how much will be there in your savings, like approximate balance? The pro I can't tell you exactly. Not exactly, sir. I'm not asking you the exact amount. The last time, like, listen to me closely. The last time in my TD account... There was 36,000 because I used to work in the post office, you know, and I used to deliver mail and I put a lot of money in the bank. The other bank doesn't have as much. The city account has about 18,000. Is I, can you verify if that money has been uh, manipulated at any in, in any way possible to me? Sir, because now the FBI this shit's going on the fucking channel. So you're doing it on their on their account, on their record, for them. Listen, the moment we go ahead with legal proceedings, your social security number will get suspended, and all your bank accounts, your debit cards, your credit cards, if you have 401k or any any investment, it will get seized by the federal government. Oh my God, are you serious? This is the same thing my son did to me. My son Hector. The same type of thing when I had lost a lot of money out of the... Ca oh my God. So what do I do at this particular moment in time right now? I'm fucking sweating at that. Hold on, sir. Listen to me. I have a phone call right now. Let me just click to the phone call and then... And then I will be right back to you immediately, okay? okay. One second. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, please. Hello, cash for cars. I thought you said you were going to be here 
here by 4 o'clock and I should be here and I'm here. Oh, right I'm sorry. I'm going to have the driver call you right now, okay? All right. I'm sorry. He's running a little bit late. I'm sending him right now. Okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, hi. So you're, wait a minute, hold on, I have to fix something really fastly, hold on. Alright, so what, like, uh, what is your profession, like, what kind of job you're doing? I was, I told you, I was a postman, I retired. You're retired. Right now I work at night time as a security, you know, just like, you know, I help out of my friend here as a bodega, and I stay in the bodega to make sure it doesn't get robbed, because a lot of times, a lot of crazy people come inside at night time and they try to do stick-ups and everything and I'm there to help him, you know, to dial 911s and all that, you know? If there's ever a problem at his place. Okay. You following what I'm telling you? I understand. Alright. So... One second, sir, please. It's my wife. Hold on. Hello. 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 Yes. Uh, Marco okay, um, what time you pick up the car? Which car is it again? Yeah, the one I, uh, I told you before. It's a premium Dodger. Dodger. A Dodge. Give me one minute. I'm going to call you right back, okay? Because I have to get off the phone with somebody. One minute. Okay, bye. One minute. Hello, sir. Sir? Hello. All right, I'm back with you. That was my wife. She can't even believe what's going on right now at this particular time. She's very, very upset. She's mad at me. She's mad at my son, Hector. We're really going to dis disown him, and that's it with, with this guy already. How do I fix the situation, please? So what, uh, what do you say your son's name was? My name, my, his name is Hector, but that's neither here nor there or anywhere because he really has nothing to do with this one, I don't think. I think somebody, I don't think he has a sophistication in his mind to go and open bank accounts in my name because he's really not that, he's kind of slow. What he did, I think he did something with, with my credit cards last time. Okay, what did he do with your credit cards, sir? Like, uh, he bought... He bought it a lot of stuff. And, and it was unauthorized and I was very mad at him too for that. He has a problem between you and me with you like he he'd be taking like don't say nothing to anybody it's embarrassing he takes a lot of drugs and it makes him steal from me so so you know that you know okay so you you have two options as these allegations are made under your social security number and also we have uh, complete evidence of the same yeah that's so, why you're telling me you can accept this and face the legal actions under your name. And the option number two is you can give me the number for your local police and let me talk to them. Okay. If they can understand the situation that it is not done by you and if they can give out the resolution options for the situation. I need to have a clear intention. What would you like me to do? Repeat that please one more time for me. You have uh, two options. You can um, fight this in the courthouse by hiring the criminal lawyer. Oh, uh, that's cool because I have a lawyer, and and he can help me. I'm sure. You can give me the number for your local police and let me talk to them. And uh, if they can give, uh, if they can understand the situation that uh, it is not done by you, and if they can give out a resolution option for the situation that. Is the option number two. Okay, that's option A. What's option B? The option B is you can just provide me the number for your local police department or your uh, your sheriff department or NYPD, whatever you present. Yeah. You have. And let me talk to them and see if they can understand the situation uh, that uh, this thing has not been done by you and if they can give out a resolution option for the situation. Hold on a second, I got another call. I have to get rid of this person. This might be my son, Hector. Hold on, please, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah, who's calling? Yeah, this is the man that called you before. 
Which car? Uh, hey, what's up? Is my guy there yet? I'm gonna call him. Listen to me. I'm gonna call him right now and see where he is. One minute, okay? I have the address. Hold on a second. Um, it's 3709 Barnes. All right, listen to me. I'm sending him right now, okay? You got it, buddy. You got it. Thank you. Hello. All right, uh, first, yeah. Uh, just, grab, just grab a piece of paper and a pen. Go ahead. What's up? Why? Yeah. First, to write down my name and uh, my badge number as well. You have a badge? Uh, so I've been talking to the cops all the time. You're gonna need in the future, okay? Sure. I could get right killed now. in my neighborhood for talking to the cops. Oh my God! Now what am I supposed to do too? Because if you're a cop. And they find out in my neighborhood I'm talking to you, they hang me from a tree. You understand? Okay. And punch me like a pinata with a baseball bat. What? All right, I'm going to the expedition. That entire grid from Pelham Parkway, Mace Avenue, you know, Bartow, Arno, A.D., Allerton, everything is fucking fixed. Or, and there wasn't that much. It was more closer to Gun Hill Road where there were signs. Oh my God, you're making me so nervous. <coughs> Listen to me. You can take your scam and shove it up your mother's asshole. You hear me, you fucking piece of shit? Shove it in your mother's asshole, you piece of shit. Don't you know? Don't you know that? Go fuck your mother with your dirty dick. Go fuck your father. But then suck his dick after. How stupid do you feel, you fucking jerk off? Are you trying to scam me or trying to play with me? Go fuck your mother. Are you trying to scam me? Are you trying to scam me? You're going on YouTube, asshole. My name is Blue Job, okay? By the way, B L E A W J O B B. You can write down. You just wasted 10 minutes of your life, you fucking piece of shit. I'm wasting, I'm wasting. I'm not wasting. I'm not wasting. No, you're not wasting. What are you in fucking India, you smelly fuck? I'm wasting your time. You're not wasting my time. I'm wasting your time. Okay? Yeah. By the way, I just look at your computer or whatever your cell phone. I just go to everything. I put an antivirus, I put a virus on the computer or the whatever on your cell phone. The virus will eat up all your food, okay? Go fuck yourself. Put it in your mother ass. Your phone virus, I put the virus on your phone. I put the virus, you fucking asshole. In your computer, I don't have computer, you jerk off. In your phone, cell phone. Uh. Go fuck yourself. You're going on YouTube, you piece of shit. You're going YouTube, you piece of shit. You're going YouTube. Yeah. You're going on YouTube, you asshole. Give me your social security number. Brian, are you there? Anthony Ruiz, you fucking idiot. And my brother and my son's name is Hector, you fucking asshole. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm sweating to death. I'm in this fucking car sweating because my AC is not fucking charged yet. Yeah, he hung up this fucking piece of shit. Like, comment, subscribe, everybody. That's how you handle a fucking scammer calling you up for your fucking social security number.